Hey Josh, my name is Dallin Broomfield and I'm the owner here at Iron Chest Pest Control SEO and I was speaking with Monica earlier and she requested this video for you guys. So uh, we just want to, you know, give back and, and leave you guys with a few tips and tricks here on how you can improve your online presence and just start making a lot more money with your website. Uh, the only thing I really ask is that if you could please give me some feedback on what you thought about this video. So without further ado, the three things that we're, we're going to talk about today is content, citations, and backlinks. And so all three of these tips, if you implemented them yourself today, you could start bringing in more traffic to your website. Uh, so first up is content. You know, content is king. Google likes to see anywhere from 1,500 to 2,000 words of content just on the homepage alone. And then on a back page like this for Dallas, since there's going to be so many keywords, I would still put probably around 2,000 words of content. So anyways, there's a few reasons why you want to have a lot of content on your website. One, it's going to show Google that you're the expert in your field. And two, it's going to give you the opportunity to get all the keywords in there. So I see you guys are, you do have Dallas Pest Control in here. Um, but I think that's the only keyword I've really seen. But if we come over here, we got Dallas Pest Control, Pest Control Dallas, uh, Pest Control Dallas TX. Uh, pest control in Dallas. I do see that you guys have that one. Uh, pest services in Dallas. Nope. So let's see here. Pest control in Dallas. You guys don't have that one either. Uh, and you don't have pest control Dallas. So let's just look at pest control Dallas. It gets searched 800 times every month. Another one, exterminator Dallas gets searched another 200 times every month. So if I wanted to rank and get found for a keyword like Pest Control Dallas, I would have that exact match keyword inside my header here. I would have it down in my content and I would even save my images as keywords. So I would make sure these images are saved as keywords. Okay, because so of course... What you do, Pest Control Dallas TX, very good. So you are getting optimized for that. So of course, the algorithm cannot see um, your pictures, but they can see what's behind them. So if you have them saved as those keywords, like you do, you're going to be more likely to be found by the Google users. So by getting that 2,000 words of content in on this site and getting in those exact match keywords all through your content, you're basically talking to Google and letting Google know, hey, we do pest control Dallas. And so it's an, a way to manipulate the algorithm and letting them know that you're doing that. And then you're more likely going to be found by the Google users. So that's my number one tip for you guys on the content. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to be the Google user. And so I'm going to Google Pest Control Dallas. And so the first thing that you always see are your LSA and PPC, your, your all your paid ads. Very effective to get into. I, I highly recommend it, especially this time of year. The next one down is your local map pack. Okay, so out of that 800 search volume for Pest Control Dallas, around 40% of those are going to convert right here at the local map pack. And so it's very important to get up higher on the map pack. And so there's a few reasons on how or, or what you need to do to, to do that, right? You need a good, consistent review pattern and you need to be responding to your reviews. You need to be interacting with your customers. That's what Google likes to see. Another good way to interact with your customers is to be posting about your products and making weekly Google posts. Basically use the platform just like you would Facebook or LinkedIn or anything else. OK, but most importantly is creating citations for your Google listing. Okay, so I'm sure you're wondering what that is. So citations are simply just web directories. Anywhere where your business name, your business address, and your business phone number is listed is going to create a citation for your listing. And the more of those citations you have, the more rank you're going to have up in your map pack. And so they could be like Yelp, LinkedIn, Easy Local, any one of those is a directory. So there's tools out there where you can go and see what Dynasty Pest Control has. And if they have 100 directories, go out there and get 150 of them and stay ahead of them that way. Uh, the next one down, this is your organic traffic. And so organically, ranking your website organically, it all has to do off of your backlinks. So basically, when we're talking about Google, it's just one big popularity contest. And so the more websites that you have linking back to yours that are relevant to the pest control niche or just home services is going to create authority for your site and Google is going to rank you higher and higher. So let's say if you had a link for Pizza Hut, Google's not going to count. You're not going to be optimized for that because Google knows you're not a pizza company. 
So the next, this tool that I use called Arifs, and it's just a tool. It's not 100% correct all the time, but we can see that you guys have been kind of consistently optimizing your site. You got a steady flow up. You got a UR rating of 21, domain rating of 1.8. This the domain rating is quite low, and how you're going to want to get that up is by more backlinks. So you got 103 referring domains to 260 backlinks. You're getting found for 2,000 keywords, and you got roughly about 1,000 people traveling to your website every month. And so looking at some of these keywords that you're getting found for, so let's say, can rats eat dog food? Of course, this gets searched 250 times. You've got 88 people coming to your website for it. Uh, it looks like back on your blog here, but this isn't really relevant. Anybody in you know the world could be searching this. Uh, rodents and addict, again, not really relevant. Uh, here, but what we what we call relevant are those buyer intent keywords, right? So like pest control Dallas, pest control Dallas, Texas, right? Dallas pest control, right? So you're not getting found for any of these keywords because you're sitting back on position 54 for that, 44 for that one, and 28 for that one. So of course nobody is going back to the third, fourth, and fifth page looking for pest control services. So the last thing we're going to look at is one of your competitors here, Dynasty. We can see that they have the higher ratings. They've got a good trust flow here, 113 referring domains, going back to the 797. Okay, so let's look at their keywords here. Dallas Pest Control, Pest Control Dallas, the top two there. They've got 110 people coming in for that one and 52 people coming in for that one because they're sitting on that third page. So the last thing that you're going to want to do, right, we've talked about content, citations. Now here's the backlinks. You're going to want to get more relevant backlinks back to your website. And so these are all the backlinks that your competitor has. So if Google is saying, hey, these backlinks are what they have and it's working for them to rank on the first page, it'll work for you. So you'll want to go through here and you'll want to find each one of these links. And if you don't have them, get them and then get some more and then you guys will beat them out. So just a recap. 1500 words of content, get all those buyer intent keywords in there, Just create more citations for your listing so you can rank higher in the map pack, and then start getting all your competitors backlinks so you can beat them out organically. These are the three tips that you guys can use today to start beating out your competition online. Hope you found valuable information in this video. I really look forward to hearing back from you.